friends, and welcome back to Perfect Sense. My name is Kim, and today we're going to discuss the differences between eau de toilette and eau de parfum. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Perfect Sense with Kim. Today, we're going to take a little bit of a departure from our normal Perfect Sense exploration different sense for you. And we're going to discuss a pretty common topic. Uh, what is the difference exactly between eau de toilette and eau de parfum? And that is actually pretty straightforward in that it comes down to essential oil concentration. But first, a little bit behind the history of our fragrances and what we know today as sort of a luxury item. In fact, it actually did start as a luxury item for royalty. The parfums and toilettes that we know today really kind of solidified in Hungary in the 1300s with royalty. And what happened is that for the queen of Hungary at the time, a special water distilled with rosemary essential oils was created for her so that she could smell better, and we've all heard those stories of the Middle Ages where it was really stinky in the cities and the kingdoms. And so people would put uh, oils on um, perhaps cloths or around their shirt collars so that when they were around the city, around common folks, uh, they could smell those items and it would smell better. So continuing that royal tradition, King Louis XIV actually between the 16 and 1700s had special parfums uh, for himself and they would, his uh, slaves or whoever was working for him at the time would actually apply those to his shirt collars. And we heard that some of the essential oils used in those concoctions were some that we use today, like orange flowers, musk, those deep woody fragrances, spices in some cases. But in the late 1800s, uh, science was getting better and better. Uh, we typically think of things like figuring out what germs were, but actually analytical chemistry was also getting better in that scientists were able to uh, extract aromatic oils from items and herbs, uh, fruits that we commonly use today in essential oils and a wide variety of practices. And that really kind of gave way to this industry of eau de toilette and eau de parfum. In uh, France, as you can probably guess, based upon the names, um, they really were the first group of people to come up with this idea of grooming water that could be applied to freshen yourself up, to apply to your skin, uh, your neck. Uh, to smell great, smell fresh, and we think of really classic scents like lavender, sort of those herby scents as well, including rosemary. And so today, what we see in an eau de toilette is something that's lighter and fresher. And what that translates to from a scientific basis is that only between about 5 and 15 percent of the fragrance itself is made of the aromatic essential oils that comprise the base notes, the middle notes, and the top notes of the scent. Uh, eau de toilette is generally considered to be more of an office day wear uh, because it doesn't last as long. Uh, on the other hand, eau de parfum, which has the highest essential oil concentration that you run across on the market today, typically has between 15 and 20% of essential oils. So as you can imagine, there could be a difference between two different fragrances of five and 20%. That's 15% net difference in essential oils. And when you're talking about numbers like 1.7 ounces, which is a very small amount of liquid, that makes a really big difference in terms of staying power on your skin. So if we look back at some of the fragrances that I here at Perfect Sense have reviewed, uh, let's take a look at just some of the different, uh, different fragrances we have. So one of our first fragrances that I reviewed was Tiffany and Love for Him, and this is an Eau de Toilette. 
Again, a very clean, classic fragrance, a lot of aqua notes. And we can take this in direct contrast to one of our most uh, recent reviews, and that was Gucci Bloom. And this is one of my favorite scents, but it also has a really deep smell of musk and uh, jasmine, very deep floral undertones. However, I would argue that Gucci Bloom is a great fragrance to wear during the day. Uh, so this kind of goes against that night and day tradition that some people tend to ascribe to Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. Another example that we had um, earlier in our reviews was Spice Bomb by uh, Victor Rolf. We actually received a question on YouTube about if we had the Eau de Parfum or Eau de Toilette. And the answer for this one that we reviewed specifically is the Eau de Toilette. And we contrast this directly with the Bulgari uh, Eau de Parfum that we also reviewed early. This is one of my favorites. And even when this was purchased and when I first ran across this particular fragrance in Dubai, uh, it was actually advertised as having a very high concentration of essential oils. So of course it comes as no surprise that it's an eau de parfum. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed our little tutorial today, a little bit of a departure. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe to this video. Comment below on future videos if you like to see more of this. Um, if you have ideas or questions, please drop in the comments below what those suggestions are. And I will see you next time here on Perfect Sense.